Fans, 2021 Albinus are here and I'm happy that for once I'm not showing you a pointy one. I already showed you the AF2000 and the AS2000 which are past 2000 euro jazz boxes with thick strings and all that stuff. Now this looks like a jazzy boxy thing but it's kind of like a uh, hollow body 335 type deal 
clocking in at 650 bucks and I'm excited about low end guitars or lower end guitars. I picked that up. Um, because usually those companies don't want to show you those guitars. They want to put their best foot forward and show you all the fancy stuff. And then these guitars never get shown. So here we are. This is full hollow, which means, yes, it has neck dive. Yes, because the body literally is not solid. It's the opposite. It's hollow. Uh, so if you look in here, in the side, you, you, you can't, but I can. There's a block here holding the bridge underneath. But other than that, this is completely hollow. And it's called the AMH90-BK. In this case, it stands for black. And it's not a super, super long name. Let's go through stats. The neck is an AM expressionist. It's thicker than an Ibanez neck, but it's not super, super mega thick. It's a chunk, but not a ridiculous chunk. Okay, it's a set neck. It's glued in. Three, it is, the neck is three piece Nayedo and maple. So probably a maple piece in the middle, Nayedo on the outside. Nayedo is a kind of a uh, mahogany, or it could be the other way around. We don't know what the two and what the one pieces are. It's a gloss polyurethane. It's really black. Uh, 21 millimeters here, 24 millimeters. Here. Oh no, at ninth thread, at 9F. Okay, uh, then we have 628 millimeter scale. I'm gonna go with probably a Gibson scale. Uh, 43 millimeters up here. And we have a bound Makasa Ebony fretboard with a radius of 305 millimeters. Medium dot, medium frets in there. Not typical Ibanez. They're all jumbo, jumbo, jumbo. These are mediums. Uh, abalone dots. Yes, pretty abalone. This one's done pretty shitty. They didn't really fill it in. Other than that, let me see if I can show you that. Yeah, not the greatest craftsmanship, but okay. Uh, comes in a cardboard box, by the way. Uh, base wood, base wood, base wood. Everything, or bass wood, I still don't know. Uh, Gibraltar Performer Bridge. And then the stop tail. I don't know if it says it anywhere. That's probably the whole, oh, no. Tailpiece is the VT06. That's what that is called. Nut is plastic. Why not tusk? We don't know. I will bitch about that till everything is tusk. You know, GraphTech, tusk XL, self-lubricating nuts. It's just good stuff. I'm in this machine head, so, you know, that thing's special. Everything's gold on it. We have a two volume, two tone, three way, and a tri sound switch. And the tri sound switch, if I get this correctly, and hopefully I have Jason McNamara's beautiful pickup generator in the corner. You can, by the way, contact him if you're a content creator and get this yourself for any kind of guitar. Uh, works in Final Cut, super easy to do. Thank you, Jason. That tri sound switch is for this pickup only, and it's humbucker here. I think that's parallel. And then that's single core. So you got three different sounds here, which also means in the middle, you have three different sounds in combination with the bridge pickup. The bridge pickup is only humbucker. And then we have tone, tone, volume, volume, and off we go. Who's this guitar made for? A blues? Yes, jazz, maybe, but apparently a solely kind of neo soul. I don't know what that is. I can't play that. Uh, apparently lots of singer songwriters like that, according to Dan from Ibanez. Then again, what does Dan from Ibanez know? Nothing. Nothing. Well, some things. Many things, actually. Everything. He knows everything. Um, we're going to go into the Fender Deluxe Reverb with some reverb from the Deluxe Reverb.
It's a song. I'm working on it. It's very thin there in the parallel. Let's go in the middle and combine that with the three positions. We start in Hamburger. In the back, humbucker. <laughs> Let's boost that a bit with the all you can boost by my friend Frank Fleckenstein. <laughs> Go a little bit into lower gain from the uh, shotgun there from the JHS and see how she flies with a little bit of delay from the D1 from what was audio. Personally, I think the strongest sound of this guitar is its neck humbucker.
Let's go into the Rev Generator 740, the green thing there, which is clean but a little bit thicker. A little bit of reverb from the collider. I'm just moving things around randomly. That's it, C7? Beautiful jazzy clean sound. Too thin for me. Don't need that. Got other guitars for that, but that's that's where it's at for six hundred fifty bucks. Gonna say beautiful sound. Let's go very quickly into the uh, Achilles Argos, which is a JTM kind of classic-y, martial-y kind of a thing. Let's see how that works. <laughs> is always just uh, really, really tight. I mean, you should not go in any way. This is a super hollow body guitar, slight overdrive and cleans and beautiful, funky, solely kind of singer, songwriter stuff. Subtle stuff is where it's at. And that's of course why we're going into the Angle Fireball. <laughs> Thank you. 
to do that? Yes. Should you do that? No. Get a different guitar for it. It's in the DNA that it works with high gain. Yes, it's an Ibanez. Come on. That's a beautiful round sound. Hey, if you want to expand your arsenal with a full hollow guitar, but you don't want to fork over boutique prices, I'm going to go with, this is cool. I love the, again, for me, stay on the humbucker, be here, forget about the rest. Um, even though, yeah, I can do some rockabilly and stuff, whatever, but this is beautiful for that. Look at the, you know, volute. Uh, we didn't even look at this. The fretboard, uh, the, no, the, the, the binding has a little bit of a swirl in it, right there, a little bit of swirl in the beautiful binding. And the dots are almost centered. Come on, that's cool. You can get beautiful sounds. Uh, I've been a service, you know, playability, usability, the warranty, all that stuff. And it's 650 bucks. Uh, I would buy this before I buy an Epi. I mean, of course, you know, uh, ethical reasons. Um, I have a very, very nice hollow body from Stanford, but that's at 1100. So we're quite a bit away from this. I can't fault it. I wouldn't buy it in black because you see all the crap on it. You know, you lift it once and then you see it on it. That's disgusting. In times of Corona, now that guitar is probably actually really mine. It's a good instrument. You're looking for the jazzy tone, the bluesy tone, the neo soul tone, whatever that is. It's there. And I'm not saying that because they paid me. You heard it. Don't believe what I say. Listen with your ears. Beautiful. Well done. Ibanez. Links below. This was the last video we filmed in my immen immense 12 video series for Ibanez. Thank you for commissioning those. It was a chore, but also a pleasure. Now we have to pack them all up and send them back to Gutenstetten, which is where they are in Germany. Thanks, Ibanez team. International. Thanks, Ibanez team. Germany. Thanks, Dan. Animals at the end. Remember.